in terms of actually kind of going from doing your own portfolio and kind of getting jobs because i have seen people actually well you probably know people more more so than me but i think people don't realize that it is possible to get jobs on the back of just doing a portfolio yourself like it does seem quite strange that you know people don't actually realize how obviously it's not easy it's very difficult to get into the industry but you've got to think if if everyone has a degree in this everyone has an experience working at a club what are you going to do to stand out and i think the portfolio does that and i think there's been many people which will just have started like you've done in terms of a portfolio online and they have then found themselves on the back of that working in a in a whether it be full time or on a consultancy basis and i think people need to realize that that is possible yeah massively massively like you said it's standing out like ultimately there's you have hundred or well, hundreds and thousands of people applying for these roles and realistically how many sort of analyst roles come up a season like probably mm. even to say one a club i know some clubs have multiple some clubs won't have any but to say like one a club that's 92 that's 92 jobs in in england in yeah. one in one year and that's if there was one in every club in every year so it, it's competitive it's making yourself stand out from the others like I said, it's, it's, it's drawing on your experiences. I think, one, it shows that you, you're committed and it's something you want to do because you've, you've created that in your own time. But two, it shows your ideas off. Like I said, I've, I've had interviews at, or uh, meetings with clubs in the past where sort of shown, shown a work I've done of like, right, like, you know, that's, a, that's amazing sort of talk us through it. And immediately you've got their attention and, yeah. and their interest. So... For me, it's uh, as I said, it, it's not. In fact, you don't want to do it. Like, don't do it. But it's it's a really, it's a really powerful tool to be able to have it at your disposal straight away. Like, probably every couple of weeks, we'll we'll be in talks with uh, someone within a club or an agency that perhaps might want some freelance work doing on on a specific player. And as soon as they drop you the message, you just sort of go, you know, sort of what is it what is it that you want in sort of here's my portfolio, how I look through here, what is it that you like sort of, and it, immediately you then got the idea of sort of what, what it is that, that they're wanting from you and immediately you're selling yourself straight away, which I think is ultimately the, the, the biggest thing is being able to sell yourself because no one else is going to do it for you and equally having it, having it there to get out and, and show and make yourself stand out from, from the crowd. Yeah, definitely. I think what you said about, you know, you you have got to enjoy it to be able to, to do it. A lot of people I speak to, and this is not just analysts, this is like strength conditioning coaches and physiotherapists and all that that work in clubs. You know, you, you do find that they're just so passionate about what they actually do. It's, it is not just a job, it's also their hobby. Um, and, they, you know, they love doing it and that's why they that's why they do it. But I think it, if you are an analyst now and if you are starting out, I would say, you know, you don't, the data analysis is one side of things. I don't think you have to go full out and say, right, I'm going to be an absolute expert at this, but I think just having the basics to get by would be a massive help. Do you know what I mean? So, and I mean, do you agree with that, Liam? Well, yeah, I mean, if I'm honest, like, like, like coding, for example, coding is a great skill to have, but how many, how many people within clubs have the time to be able to go away and, and, and code? Like I'm talking, obviously not data scientists, but even recruitment analysts and, performance performance analysts like you are generally so busy day to day having to to churn out stuff for for certain people with, within the club like it's um it's it's not necessarily a skill that you're going to use every day but having an understanding of how to do it or be able to do it for for certain scenarios is great as i said when i started this chatting to you earlier it's horses for courses like if you can do something in the same amount of time in Excel, that's going to have the same impact, yeah. but it's going to therefore be less work or take less time to do it. Like, why would you not do it? Like, yeah, data visualization is great, and don't get me wrong, I I, I love it. But equally, sort of, is is a manager going to be able to go away and read a ninety-page recruitment document on Nottingham Forest? No, because it doesn't have the time. Yeah. So. It's one about being impactful with what you produce, making sure it's clear and concise, but also getting value out of what it is you're producing for for the time you put into it. As I said, if you can create the same thing in Excel or Tableau yes. as you can in code and it takes the same amount of time and it has 
the same impact why wouldn't you get it when it's going to do less work for yourself so yeah. I, I being multi uh, multi-skilled in different uh, softwares or languages or techniques um for me is 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 absolute key in in whatever role that you're working in because said so you might only get some of attention for two minutes and you need to be able to get your message across yeah. um so yeah it, that, that's the key there for me yeah definitely is i suppose it's very it can be very creative as well because if you're trying to get a certain message across and i suppose there's lots of different ways that you could present that in a visualization um so it kind of is quite cool that you know as an analyst you do have that creative side where you can say actually i'm going to maybe experiment and present it this way instead um which is always cool because i think you have got a you've always got a factor in the delivery to the coaches or you know the the scouts and stuff so um 